So in this video, I'm going to show you how to write a blog post on your Shopify website. And I'm also going to show you how to hire someone um, if you suck at writing blogs like I do. Now, I really believe that if you have a website, you should have some blog posts and you should offer value. I always think the more value you offer, the more it will come back to you. So definitely, if you're on the fence about writing a blog on your, on your website, you definitely should go for it. Have at least three. Now, in your back end of Shopify, you just want to go online stores and blog posts. So this is a section where you actually add your blog post. If it's the first time writing a blog, it will say this, create a blog post. If you have others, it will have create a blog post up here in the right. So we're just going to click create a blog post. Now, what I normally do if I write the blog post myself is I'll actually have a Word document and I'll write it all in there first um, and then just add it to the site. You can do it in here, no worries at all. Now, if you actually want to hire someone, I normally go to Fiverr to hire someone or you could go to Shopify Experts. I'm actually one of the experts. There's actually great people there as well that write blog posts. I normally only hire people in countries like Australia, um, America, Canada, um, New Zealand, you know, people that speak really good English um, because you don't want a lot of grammar mistakes and stuff like that. You want it to be written so it's very easy for the person reading it to actually read it. Um, I hire this person a lot, Hazel Miller. Um, she's on Fiverr. I normally give her the outline of what I want and she pretty much puts it all together for me because I'm really bad at writing and I just like to hire people that can do stuff a lot better than me. Um, so I definitely recommend her. I'll leave a link to her profile in the description. You can check her out. Um, I've got a couple of affiliate links down there. If you ever use any of my affiliate links, um, just send me a message and I'll do a video review of your website like this, going over some tips and suggestions for free. No worries at all. So basically what she actually does is she sends me a document like this. So even if you don't hire someone, recommend to outlay it like this in a Word document just to get your head around it first. <clears throat> what she normally does is give me some keyword research, some stuff for Google and stuff like that. The first blog she actually wrote for me um, is actually starting to rank high on Google. So she's done an awesome job here. She really outlines it exactly how you should write it. You know, for example, what type of headings, um, what you should put for the SEO and in, in um, your website and stuff like that. What I normally do when I have this document is what I do is I just, as I go, I just delete it um, so I know I've done it. So, for example, page title here, we could actually just grab this page title and then go back to our website here and then put the page title in here. Um, obviously, you would remove page title um, over here for visibility. Um, if you want it hidden until you've actually wrote it, you can leave it hidden. You can set a date you want it to release or you can have it visible. What we're going to do is just have it visible here. So now we've got the title in here. Now for the images here, um, this is the main image for the blog. So you probably want to add the image here. I've already saved it to my computer here. If you have the Word document and you just click on the image and press right click, save as picture. You can actually save that to your desktop, no dramas at all. So we're going back here now. And so, yeah, so I basically save every couple of things I do just in case my computer crashes or anything because you don't want to put like an hour's work or half an hour's work into something and then it just crashes and you lose everything. Um, so now we have the image and we have the title. We can actually view it. And this is what it's starting to look like on our site. Got the title here, the name, stuff like that. And then we're actually going to write the write it now. So here, meta description. So what we would just do is we'll just copy this. Um, basically, if you're going to do this yourself, down here, it says search engine listing preview. So if we edit this, and then we just put the description in here. Obviously, we will remove Meta. This is what it's actually going to look like on Google here. So this is what someone's going to see when they actually it ranks on Google. Um, so that's very important to have this. And then we can save here. We can go back here. Now, image alt tag. 
that's what she's actually put here, why blog posts must add value. So this blog is actually about um, adding value with your blog posts. Um, I'm actually going to fully do this on my actual personal website and I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video or below this video and you can actually go and check that out um, if you want, no worries at all. So you actually see the finished product, which is cool. So let's actually go back to our site here. And then we're going to start down here where it says content. We're going to add all the content in here. So if you wanted to, you could actually just copy all this to make it easier and just go back here to the blog and just paste it all in here or control V to paste. And now it's added all this information in here. Now what you'd actually do is just go through and edit it. So she's wrote here H1 as the it's a heading number one. So we're going to delete that and we're going to highlight all of that. Go up to formatting and press heading H1. So that's going to make that a little bit larger. And then we're just going to go through and make all the suggested headings. So heading two. So you sort of get the idea. It sort of stands out a little bit more when the heading's a bit bigger, makes it a little bit easier to actually read as well. And then you can go through and do all that and just delete or remove anything. Um, you can put the images in here so we can actually go here. So say we want to put an image right here, we just pre press here and press enter and we've got a space here now. I like to do alignment to center. And then just here where it says insert image, upload file. And then we're just going to put white blog, blog post matter number two. Just wait for this to load. If you actually want to add a Facebook, YouTube, um, or Vimeo video, I've actually done a video on how to actually add that. I'll leave it in the card above this video or in the description as well. You can check that out. We just click on this image here, click size. I normally do original. Sometimes when you do, when you make the image large or something like this, it actually, depending on your website, will blur the image a little bit. So you could test this out, see what works the best. Um, I'm just going to do original here. So we've actually got this in here now. If we actually press save and then we view the site again, it's going to have that image here. Got see how the headings are larger now. And then we've got this image down here. So if we actually look on a mobile phone, this is sort of what it's going to look like. The images really break up the text. Like it's really important to have images throughout the blog. Um, if you if you look at some of the best blogs ever written, um, they they really make it easy for you to read it. So they add a lot of images, videos, things like that just to break up this text because it's actually quite a lot of text on a mobile phone. So if you have a lot of images, videos, stuff like that, um, to break up this text, it will really help because if you think about it, let's say we just had that one image there. This is actually quite daunting to actually read all this because it's actually a very large chunk of text. Um, so you really want to make sure you, you break up that. Same thing with your about page, like a lot of people make a mistake and put too much text in there and stuff like that as well. So that's pretty much everything on this. Like I said, I'm going to have the final result on my website. You can check that out. No worries at all. Just going through a couple of other things as well. So excerpt, um, excerpt you know, um, my words are mixed up. If you press that. We can actually add a preview of some of the writing of what the blog's going to say. You could probably just put this first paragraph in here, copy that, and then go here. And then that's what's going to display under the heading and the picture on your actual website. Now, down here on the side as well, organization. So you can actually change the author and stuff like that. Um, I'll actually go in and show you in a minute. We can change the name of the blog. So if we click here, um, we can press create a new blog. Maybe we're just going to call this YouTube. 
that's going to be in the name. So all the all the blogs that we write with the blog title uh, YouTube is going to be all in that one type of blog. So you can have multiple different types of blogs on your website. Um, most people would just have one, um, but it's totally up to you. Now these tags here as well, we could write something like how to videos um, hyphen um, how to write uh, sorry, maybe write blog post. Often. So these are going to be the tags on our website. I'll actually go in and show you in a minute. Um, if you're going to have like 100, 200 blogs, a lot of blogs, you probably want to have, you know, two or three tags per blog. Just so when someone sees it on the website, if they're really interested in how-to videos, if they click that button, it's going to bring up all the how-to videos or you know, whatever on your niche sort of thing. So that's very important. We press save here. And then if we go back to blogs here, this is how to change the author's name. So manage blogs. These are the different types of blogs as well. So I just forgot to say that. We can actually delete everything else if you want and you just have one, um, totally up to you. And then we go back here to blogs. Um, another thing as well, manage comments. So when people actually leave comments, they're actually all going to be in here as well. Um, so you can actually do that as well. And then if we go to settings down here, this is how to add the name. So if we go account and then add staff member. So let's just say Clayton Bates, that's my name, and my email is here. Oh, whoops, let's put my other email in. An invite. And then we go back to online store. And then we go to blogs. And then we click on this blog here. And then we go to the name here. See how it's got Clayton Bates? We can click there, save. And then if we go here, it's going to have the blog post with my name here now. Like that. And that's pretty much how you write a blog post. Um, one other thing that you might want to do, say you want to put a link to another website, you can just copy where you want the link and then press this little button here, insert link, and then you'll just paste the link here. And then if you want it to open the same window or open a new browser, um, I recommend if you're linking in your own site, the same window, if you're linking off your site, you do new window and then the link title here. Um, so maybe there's another how-to video we're going to link to. Insert link like that. So that's how you sort of do that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, highly recommend Hazel Miller to do your blogs. You can check her out. Um, I've had great results there. And until next time, um, have a good one. If this video gets to 50 likes, I might actually do a video on... Um, you know, how to use blogs to actually get customers to your website. So let me know if you want that and I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.